Hey everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video about how to fix the, the infinite loading screen on uh, the game binary domain. Can I show you the bug? It happens either uh, when you're loading a saved game or when you're starting a new game. I'm gonna show you when I, I load a saved game. As you can see, I already have one, so if I try to load it. Here you get a black screen, and it says no loading. Normally you would have like um, a background with some text, and no loading. But here we don't have the background. So, we need to close the game. Now for the fix. So basically, the problem comes from. Um, seems it seems to me that the problem comes from the the config file. So you go you go to your uh, game folder. Uh, for this, you can right click on binary domain. You go to properties, local files, browse. It's going to open the folder where I was. This folder, you go to save data, and in here you have a file called user.cfg.txt. So if we take a look at mine, um, so you have some graphical settings here, and here you have your um, your uh, key settings, so for the keyboard and for controllers. And as you can see in mine, there are a, a lot of entries for controllers. 41 of them. So here you have two solutions. E either you uh, delete all the entries, but the first one or the first two ones uh, depend on configuration. In your setup, also you can see that the IDs here are all zero. So, I'm gonna save this, put the game again. That is, if you want to keep your um, your settings, like your uh, graphical settings and your um, your keys, your buttons, or wh whatever you have configured. The next, I'll show you with like uh, a fresh uh, fresh config file. So here we do the same. Load game, and there you go. Here you see that it works. Close the game again. So if this somehow doesn't work, what you can do is delete your user.cfg.txt and you go to the configuration tool, you run it. And you just save and quit. Or you can con reconfigure your uh, settings, whatever. But yeah, for the purpose of this uh, video, we'll just save and quit. So we go back here. We see that it regenerated our user CFG. If we take a look, it pretty much looks the same. Well, except the, the keys that were changed, the settings that were changed as well. But yeah, as you can see in my case, we have two controllers because uh, I'm using a, an adapter that shows two controllers. So this is a freshly created config file. We put the game. Oh, I forgot something.
Yeah, you won't be able to see because I ran to GPUs. I have to change the GPU. Okay, so let's boot the game again. Sega. So same process, put the save game. And there you go. You won't get away with so you see the FOV is completely different. Which means it's using the default FOV and not the, the one I had in my uh, settings. If uh, somehow the um, config file gets uh, overwritten when you boot the game, well, it's not the case for me, but if it does, make sure to uh, disable Team Cloud for the game. So there was this user here called Air2Games who, um, who had the issue. Uh, he said that probably it was caused by um, the antivirus Avast. But it's not the case. And then he said that he fixed it by uninstalling the game, but also deleting the whole folder of the game before reinstalling, which confirms. Um, basically what we saw here basically you have to delete, 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 delete this file you don't need to delete everything just this file and regenerate it and uh, that should fix the problem thank you for watching and uh, hope it fixes the problem for you